All right, welcome back, my dear students. So now we are using our models, views, and controllers the way it's supposed to be. Let's learn some more syntax when it comes to making our queries, right? So we got this query here, where, using the where function or method, right? Where ID equals user ID. Let's actually learn another way of doing this. So another way of doing this would be, and I'm going to put this actually in the bottom here, would be something like this. This db, of course, that's the object, right? And then we say where. And then inside here, we put an array, an associative array. And we say where id equals the user id. Look at this. Beautiful. And this will give us the same results right here. Now, of course, we are missing a parameter there. But if we pass in the parameter, enter, we can see that it still works. And if we make any mistakes, oops, sorry about that. If we make any mistakes right here, let's say this is not, let me show you that it is working. Let's put a nest right there on IDs and we come here, enter, you can see that we get this error. All right. So as you can see here, and you can also use more parameters. So let's actually take this and put it like this right here. All right, so how can we pass more parameters? We put a comma and we can say where username, all right, equals whatever username we pass in. All right, and we don't need to put a comma on the last element right here. All right, so we're saying where ID equals username and where, I mean, where ID equals, equals user ID and where username equals username. All right, so we're putting two conditions in this array. All right, so here we could put something like, um, and then we say um, username. And there we go. And then we come back here and we pass a username here. I'm just going to say, I'm going to pass a, a static, a static um, string here, a value. And the user ID would be number one for Rico. So enter. You can see that it shows me it shows me that one, but if I put two here, then we don't see anything because the condition does not work. All right, so it has to be both conditions for it to show me this. All right, if I pass in, let's say something like Suave here, and I have the Rico's ID, which is number one, and I press enter, I don't get anything because the condition does not, it does not meet the condition. As you can see right here, Rico's ID is one. So that's what we're passing in here, one. But then when it gets here, it says, okay, we got the ID number one, and then we're passing in Suave to the user model, and the user model compares both of them here, and, and it comes out to say, you know what, it's not true. So we could put something like, um, we can put a, a, a query here and when we return it it's going to return false because one of these is not going to meet it's not going to meet one of these conditions all right so it's going to return false all right so i hope you understand how that works and we can use the same thing for other queries and i'm going to show you that in the next lecture all right so anyway thank you so much for watching this and i'll see you in the next one have fun take care